Welcome to the series of lectures on functions of a real variable. Our first lecture in this series is on Cartesian product and relation. I am your lecturer, Professor E. O. Efanga. The Cartesian product. The Cartesian or direct product of the set A and B denoted by A cross B is defined as follows. A cross B is equal to the set of all ordered pairs x, y such that x is element of A and y is element of B. Similarly, we define B cross A to be the set of all ordered pairs y x such that x is element of a and y is element of b we note that in general a cross b is not necessarily equal to b cross a the above definition can easily be extended to more than two sets for instance for three sets a1, A2, and A3. We define the Cartesian product A1 cross A2 cross A3 as follows. A1 cross A2 cross A3 is the set of all other triple X1, X2, X3 such that X1 is element of A1, X2 is element of A2, and x3 is element of a3. For n set a1, a2 to a n, we define a1 cross a2 cross to cross a n to be the set of all other n tuples x1, x2 to xn such that x1 is element of a1 x2 is element of a2 to xn is element of an. Example number 1. Given the set A of element A, B, and C, the set B of element 1 and 2, and the set C of element S and T, then 1. A cross B is obtained by pairing every element of A with element of B. Thus we pair A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. 2. B cross A is obtained by pairing every element of B with element of A. That will give us 1A, 1B, 1C, 2A, 2B, and 2C. 3. A cross B cross C is the set of all other the triple. So we form the triple as follows. A1S, A1T. A2S, A2T, B1S, B1T, B2S, B2T. Finally, C1S, C1T, C2S, and C2T. The relation. A relation is a subset of the Cartesian product. A relation existing between two sets is called a binary relation. Some examples of binary relations are 1. Father of. This is a relation existing between the set of fathers and set of children. 2. Mother of is the relation existing between the set of mothers 
and set of children. 3. Sister of. This is the relation existing between two set of children. Brother of. Is also the, the relation existing between two set of children. Equal to. Is the relation existing between two set of numbers. Less than. Is the relation existing between two set of numbers. Greater than. Is the relation existing between two set of numbers. Subset of. Is the relation existing between two set of set. And so on. If x is related to y. We write this. X G Y. Where G here stands for the relation. And we read this as X is related to Y. Let A be the set of element 2, 3, and 5. And B be the set of element 1, 3, and 5. Then the Cartesian product a cross B is equal to the set of all other the pairs 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 5, 3, 1, 3, 3, 3, 5, 5, 1, 5, 3, 5, 5. That is repair every element of A with element of B. Now, let us form the relation is less than between the set a and B. Looking at this set, we pick those pairs in which the first member of the pair is less than the second member. So our relation is less than is this relation G equal to the set of pairs 2, 3, 2, 5, 3, 5. So observe that in these pairs, the first member is less than the second one. As 2 is less than 3, 2 is less than 5, and 3 is less than 5. And clearly, this set G is a subset of A cross B. 2. The relation is equal to between the set A and B is this set. G equal to the set of other pairs 3, 3, and 5, 5. That is the set in which the first member of the pair is equal to the second member. These are this set 3, 3 and 5, 5. Again, the set G is a subset of A cross B. 3. The relation is greater than or equal to between the set A and B is this set G. The member of this set is such that the first member of the pair is greater than the second member or the two members are equal. So as you can see, 3 is greater than 1, 3 is equal to 3, 5 is greater than 1, 5 is greater than 3, and 5 is equal to 5. So clearly again, G is a subset of A cross B. Properties of relation. Property 1. A relation G is said to be reflexive if X is related to X. 2. A relation G is said to be symmetric if X is related to Y implies that Y is related to X. 3. A relation G is said to be transitive if x is related to y and y is related to z implies that x is related to z. A relation satisfying the above three properties is called an equivalence relation. While a relation satisfying property three only is called an other relation. Example 2. The relation G on the set R of real numbers 
defined by this g is equal to the set of all other pairs x y such that x is less than y x and y are real numbers one this relation g is not reflexive since x is not less than x a number is not less than itself two the relation g is also not symmetric since if x is less than y it does not follow that y is less than x for instance 2 is less than 3 but 3 is not less than 2 hence the relation is not symmetric 3 this relation g is transitive because if x is less than y and y is less than z it follows that x is less than z for instance 2 is less than 3 3 is less than 5 it follows that 2 is less than 5 so since this relation only satisfies property 3 then g is an other relation example 3 the relation is equal to is an equivalence relation since one it is reflexive that is x is equal to x of course a number is equal to itself any object is equal to itself so the relation is equal to is reflexive two it is symmetric that is if x is equal to y it follows that y is equal to x 3 it is transitive that is if x is equal to y and y is equal to z it follows that x is equal to z hence the relation is equal to is an equivalence relation because the three properties are satisfied on your own number one let a be the set of element two five b the set of element one three and c the set of element four fine one a cross b two b cross a three b cross c four c cross b five a cross c six c cross a seven a cross b in bracket then cross c eight a cross then b cross c in bracket 9 a cross b cross c 2 determine whether the following is an equivalence or other relation 1 less than or equal to 2 greater than 3 greater than or equal to 4 subset of 5 proper subset of 6 friend of 7 not equal to number 3 let g be a relation defined on z cross z by the pair AB is related to the pair CD if and only if B minus A is equal to D minus C. Show that G is an equivalence relation. We have come to the end of lecture 1. Thank you for watching.
and keep on watching.